is the third annual Homer Soda Fest, and we're super excited to be here. It's a great family event, you can bring your kids, there's all kinds of stuff to do. I think it's pretty cool. It's a little bit strange having so many people in Homer, but I think it's cool that they actually want to include the community, include everybody else around to have a really big festival. I think it's something really fun to do in the summer. I love having all these different people in town. Um, we've had a few customers in today that came down from Chicago, from Lyle, from uh, Indiana, just from different areas, and they're very glad to come to this small town and to see this great festival. It brings the town uh, to life. It brings everybody down here. We all get together, get along, and it's just a great day to, to get together and have fun as a small town. I think that there's at least 100, maybe over 100 volunteers. I am selling tickets and VIP passes. The VIP is super cool because there's over 200 sodas here. It just gives you the whole experience of being at the Homer Soda Festival. We're getting a good turnout. Forecast for today is about 100 cars, from Bugs, the Chevys, the Mopars, the trucks, the bikes, you name it, they all come out for this event. The hometown atmosphere, I think, is what does it for all of us. Well, I haven't been to this car show yet, and I heard the Homer, the soda's real good, so I decided to come and try it out. There's a lot of activity looks like going on here, so pretty nice. It's really cool. It's always fun to be able to be involved in community projects, you know, local run, you know, people doing this just because they can. It's just good for the community and everything around it. It's a good chance for people to come out and see each other. They been locked up all winter long and it's a great opportunity for people to come down and have some great food, have some great soda. We started off with ginger ale done uh, the way they did it 200 years ago. I'm working with my son here today. It's been good, you know, you don't get to spend much time with them in school and whatnot. Today on a, on a Saturday, bring them down out of Chicago and get some experience. We're out here today to just help serve some sodas and help some people have a good time. I've been here since 9 o'clock and it's been non-stop and it, and it doesn't show any signs of letting up. So just serve some sodas, talk to some people, have some laughs. And my girlfriend and I were uh, looking a way to give back to the community and hang out together and we found this event. I've never been here before and I'm glad that my first time here as a volunteer. It's been a lot of fun. We've, uh, we've gone around, tried a lot of sodas, and now we're trying to get people to try our favorite sodas. I didn't know it would be this packed. I've never been before, so I was really surprised out here in Homer to see it packed like it is. But uh, we've been able to park, and we've been able to get around and, and get to all the tents that we need to get to. Uh, my favorite flavor has been any and all forms of cream soda. I'm a big fan of those. And uh, this Irish booth we're working has one they call a football soda. It's kind of a mystery flavor, and it's been really tasty as well, like an Irish Dr. Pepper. Some of the fun flavors that we have, one is the salted caramel root beer. We won number one soda last year. Uh, the other fun favorites are the candied bacon cream soda, the chocolate hazelnut, and our sour cherry. I'm a big cream soda person, and I just went to get a six-pack thing, and I'm going looking for, there's supposed to be a jalapeno soda. I heard it's down there somewhere, like number 17 or something. I haven't tried any weird flavors yet. I just tried it's very cherry cola and just regular root beer. They have a bacon soda that I've had before, and they have a brownie root beer soda. My favorite flavor is probably the butterscotch root beer, I would say. Um, the bacon one is definitely different. Coming from somebody who loves bacon, I thought it was pretty good. I like the gross sodas, like the Avery's gross sodas, Bug Barf, Dog Drool, Kitty Piddle, just because they're fun, they're neon, and they will freak you out from the name, but they actually taste really good. So far today, I think our most popular flavor is probably our butterscotch brew, which is, uh, it's called Flying Cauldron, which is a takeoff from the, the Harry Potter butterbeer. There's a strawberry jalapeno soda. I mean, for that alone, you gotta come out. It's not something you have in an average, just little town. Just having one of these unique, one-of-a-kind experiences that you don't get anywhere else. We love Homer Soda Company!